The sea waves produced by tides are called tidal waves. The rise of sea water and its movements towards the coast is called tide. Generally, we see a high tide and low tide very clearly near a beach or a creek. The difference between a high tide and a low tide can be very clearly seen near the beaches in the form of a wet region known as intertidal zone. The tides have their origin in the gravitational force of the sun and the moon. We all know the earth rotates from west to east and revolves around the sun following an elliptical orbit. Similarly, the moon also rotates from west to east and revolves around the earth along an elliptical orbit. But we always see the same side of the moon because the time taken for rotation and revolution of moon around the earth is same. Since the orbit of the moon is elliptical, the distance between the moon and the earth changes during different times of every month. The period of the furthest distance between the moon and the earth is called apogee, while the period of the nearest distance is called perigee. Tides are strongly influenced by the gravitational force of the moon. This is due to the proximity, that is nearness to the earth. Its pull exerted on our planet attracts the water towards it. Similarly, when we take up the sun, it also attracts water surface the same way, but slightly less than the moon does, because the sun is further away compared to the moon. Now, this attraction pulls water towards the moon and creates a bulge on the surface of the earth. Similarly, we also see a high tide or a bulge on the opposite side of the earth and this happens simultaneously. Let us understand them. The explanation of the two bulge tide comes from the fact that the moon and the earth form a two body system that rotates about an axis located within the earth. The bulge on the side of the moon is clear. The bulge on the other side of the earth is due to inertia. Let us understand what is inertia. Inertia is the tendency of an object at rest to stay at rest and the tendency of a body in motion to continue its motion in a straight line. When you turn, your car is attracted to the road outside. It works the same way with water surface. Water surface moves away from the earth's center which is a phenomenon caused by the earth itself when it rotates. And this is called the centrifugal force. Now we all know that the earth and the moon exerts gravitational force. At the same time, the earth is spinning from west to east at a great speed. And the speed at the equator is 1670 kilometers per hour. So the earth exerts centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is a force that acts away from the center. So there is an inertial tendency resulting from the rotation of the earth moon system for objects. Now the water among them move away from both sides of the earth. That is the side facing towards the moon and the side facing away from the moon. So, we can say that the gravitational force of the earth, sun and moon cause a bulge of water on the nearest side which is the tidal center and an equal bulge on the other side which is another tidal center. The earth completes one rotation in roughly 24 hours and every place should experience a tide after 
12 hours. But this never happens. Let us understand why. Each day the tide is delayed by 52 minutes because the moon also rotates on its axis from west to east while revolving around the earth. Since the earth rotates from west to east, the tidal center shifts westward. When the tidal center completes one round, the moon's position is ahead of the tidal center and by that time, the moon also revolves around the earth and so the tidal center takes another 52 minutes to come under the moon. Thus, a particular tidal center takes 24 hours 52 minutes to come under the moon. But by that time, there is another tidal center which is at the opposite side of the referred tidal center. And so, it will experience a high tide and that would happen after 12 hours 26 minutes. Now, whenever the sun, moon and the earth come in one line, the tidal center would experience a high tide 20% more than the normal tide. And this is referred to as spring tide. This can happen on a full moon day or a new moon day. Similarly, when the sun, moon and the earth are at a right angle, the position is referred to as position of quadrature. At such times, the tide is 20% lower than the normal tide and it is referred to as neap tide. Now we may be imagining that the tides run from east to west because the earth rotates from west to east. But that never happens. The tides instead of running east to west as the earth rotates, the tidal waves actually propagate around in circles around islands and certain points in the sea which are known as tidal nodes. We shall learn about them in the next video.